Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023 here in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Ansot Hewitt, who's the Director General of the Office of Utilities Regulation in Jamaica. Ansot, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about uh, the regulation challenges, perhaps let's call it that way, but also opportunities in, in Jamaica. And also, thanks again. of course, um, your presence I, here at uh, the here. Global Symposium and, for and Regulators, uh, how in, important in it is for you to be here. After these years of operating virtually. So, that, so that is welcome. Th this forum um, provides us with a good opportunity for... Um, getting a sense of what is being done by our counterparts in other parts of the world has always been very critical to us. It helps us with regard to our, our networking. And it also um, gives us an opportunity to say oh, the things that are important to us and also how those, um, the, the intersection between the things that are important to us and to, to others. So. For all those reasons, it is, it is a wonderful opportunity to be here. In terms of Jamaica, and, and I'm from the Office of Utilities Regulation, which is a multi-sector regulator. We have responsibilities for water, electricity, and telecommunications. So the, the matter of, of um, cooperation and coordinating not just among ICT um, entities, but across sectors is very important to us. So this, the, the focus this year at JSR, um, we find to be particularly useful and relevant to so the OUR. Let's talk particularly about the focus here at JSR and why it's of, of particular importance to you. Right. So as, as I understand it, there is an emphasis this year on the matter of um, cross sector collaboration. We have found conver that convergence operates in the ICT space and traditional entities and subsectors have merged. Uh, but I think that we're realizing that that is not just limited to the ICT space. There is a, a spread to other sectors as well. So for example, it seems to me that the matter of, of um, data and security and all of that um, cuts across all the sectors. Um, there, there has long been a tradition of sharing between the electricity and the ICT sector. A good example of that is the matter of pole sharing, um, um, you know, lines running across the street where you collaborate or you, you know, you have common facilities and docks and so on. That has become even more critical. Um, with the emergence of Smart meters, for example, we're dealing with the same set of customers across all, all the utilities. And it's very important to, to collaborate, but it also provides opportunity, I suppose, for the entities to, to share cost and hopefully um, pass on those, those reductions to, to rate payers. So we, we're very interested in that. So this focus on and collaboration across sector, we think is very relevant to what is happening in other countries and also in Jamaica. And to the extent that this JSR is focusing on that, we're very pleased. And um, looking, we're looking forward to see what we learn from this and how um, we can enhance that kind of collaboration in a country like Jamaica, where we think it can only be beneficial to us. I just wanted to ask you what you hope will be the, the key outcomes or the takeaways when you go back to uh, Jamaica, having been here uh, for this, uh, this conference. This morning, um, we had the meetings of regional associations. Um, I'm also a part of the, there is a regional association in the, in the Caribbean, um, OCR, Organization Indeed. of Caribbean utilities regulators and I happen to be on the executive committee that so I'm particularly. Um, so we and, and the issues that emerged this morning again um, there, there is this matter of what we call revenue share or sharing and in a country like Jamaica and 
also in other Caribbean countries. The matter of how you mobilize the kind of investment that are necessary to enhance your network to take us into 5G, which we don't yet have. And in no, no country in the in, in Ochre really have the deployment of 5G as yet. Now, the entities are complaining that um, they are going to be constrained to deploy 5G because the a lot of the revenue that would be earned from that are going to over-the-top operators. So they, we have to find a, a viable model. I, I am keen to see um, what progress we make in terms of coming up with solutions to that problem. And I, you know, these are problems that you hope that the market will solve. But I think that as regulators and policymakers, we do have the opportunity to kind of shape um, the directions in which markets sometimes go. And so, you know, it, 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 it can't be a, a zero sum game. We have to figure a way for all the entities um, to, to make some kind of return on investment. So that, because there is no, I can't see what would be the benefit to the large over the top operators if we don't have an enhancement of the, of the networks. So we have to figure out how that is going to be financed. It's, it's just an economic decision that has to be made. And I think we, I'm hoping that um, this, the discussion at the GSR um, progress that and, and we see our way to some kind of viable solution. So here, well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. It's been great to hear your insights on your particular perspective, of course, uh, for your region, but of course for the, the, the conference itself. And hopefully we'll get to catch up with you again very soon in the near future. Thanks for the opportunity. That's great. Enjoy Thanks a lot. Discussion. Cheers. Thank Good. you. And uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. We'll be doing more of these uh, interviews over the course of the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023. So do tune in to our ITU YouTube channel. And also this conversation will also be out as a podcast as well. So listen to us on SoundCloud or uh, uh, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts from. So thank you very much indeed. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you again very soon too. Thank you.